Hello everyone. Doing a rando. It's gonna be a six ways, cause that's how I do. Uh, 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 uh. So I had a shitty day at work, so it's probably gonna show through the cards, and I'm sorry if I already start that way. But it happens, right? I still have to deliver to you guys after all. This is your shit, right? So for anybody who's new, if you do look for a personal reading, my email, Facebook, Instagram's all below. Just hit me up in one of those places and I will do you a reading. The first one is a treat. Everything else afterwards comes with a price, as everything does. And if you do enjoy this, you can like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure, though. I'm not one of them, right? This is for all signs, so if you resonate, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? Or it screws your day up because it actually works. One of the two. It's really up to you and how you vibe with this, honestly. Oh. I will say, please do not try to, like, video call me or, or like, whatever. Because I really don't do voice calls and I really don't do video things because I'm not good with it. Like, I'm introverted. And if you call me, like, over 50 times like one person did over the past couple days, like, I'm probably going to get really irritated and then probably threaten to, like, curse you or something just to make you go away. Not like I would actually do that, honestly, but it, 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 I'll do whatever to make the call stop because it's just like, no, I can't do this today. It's been a whacked out place, man. So let's see, six ways. We got ten of wands... The wants and wishes is the savior clown taking a leap to a, a well taking a leap of faith. This is supposed to be the fool, like a new beginning, clean slate, right? Fears and rejections is the prince of wands, reverse Leo Sag Aries, most likely Aries because that's theirs, but definitely no passion being taken when it comes to this right here. The situation is the nine of swords over here. Someone stuck in their head. The obstacle and challenge coming against somebody is the lovers, possibly Gemini, and it is reversed. Nobody's together. That's unfortunate. We've got the Queen of Swords over here as the catalyst as well as the ending. What brings this shit full circle? Libra's card, also Gemini or Aquarius, right? When I first started reading tarot, people used to tell me all the time, you know, like, you gotta read the cards a certain way. You're not allowed to flip them. You're not allowed to do this, and you know, I'm, I, like, I got Sag Rising, so it was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna wing it and just do whatever it is I want to do. I don't know where that came from, but it's whatever. Beginning theme is two of one, or no, two of swords reverse. Which is basically, um, coming to some sort of decision or trying to figure out a decision. Choosing one or the other. Are you gonna take passion, or are you gonna choose something different? If I could pick up my cards... I'd be good, but I don't have any nails because I cut them. We're going to use Vice Versa deck to see what is up. Yes. Like, I tried doing a reading earlier, and I just came off really bitchy, so it's like, you know what, I'm just going to do a simple one. Not come up as bitchy. And since I got a bigger board, I'll lay down more cards for clarifiers. To a piece. To a piece. Yes. Okay, so let's see. The person I'm reading for is kind of chicken. I have to say, like they're kind of worried about something, but I, but it's like you know, like they definitely got burdens and they got issues on the brain. They want to like clean start, but they're too worried about how things went down the last time. They want to be decisive, but at the same time they're kind of a chicken. Like, they know the right thing to do, or they know what the just thing to do is, right? Because it's air sign, and you know, with air, to me, as a Capricorn, it's like they, they look at a lot more justifications. Like, they look at stuff. Like, they could also be pretty cutthroat, too, if you piss them off just right. Um, air signs are very cutthroat. You know, I got an Aquarius moon, so, like, I have an idea about that. But it's also kind of like this person has, it's almost like they're trying to justify why they aren't doing anything, which is kind of like, mm, but you still got the decisions over here, man. You still got choices. Like, it, like I feel like they're not making the right choice out of fear. Like, Prince of Wands, which is Knight of Wands in this deck. 
I always think reverse means they're afraid. Or they're just too lazy, but they're being lazy on purpose because they don't want to do the thing because they're too afraid of what could come about if they take that kind of action, right? So, you know, this person does want to take a leap of faith because whatever is on their brain is just all screwed up. But they want to be decisive about it. It's like a perfectionist, almost. It's almost like, you know, um, if you spend too much time trying to do something right, you're going to fuck it up. One of those things where it's just kind of like, you know, like they're burdened by this breakup, but they really don't want to take any action towards it. So it's just kind of like, well, then why are you worried about it? <laughs> like, if you're not going to do anything about it, go do something else. I mean, unless it's that, like, desperate. Uh, Ten of Wands right here. Someone is very much burdened with something. they are got judgment over here. And, and something walking away. Somebody walking away. Probably the better things. Like, they've stuck around long enough to be like, you know what? I am not a child who has been abandoned. I'm abandoning this shit. You know? It's like they made a choice to... Yeah, justification. Or being the person who makes judgment calls. It's like this person decided they were going to judge and walked away from something. Which is like, that's probably what's bothering them so much, you know. I mean, if you spend your time judging people, what good are you, you know? Like, my father's a Libra and I have a neighbor who's a Libra. Like, for some reason, I always end up with Li Libras for neighbors. I'm always surrounded by Libras one way or another in the world, and it's like, I don't know. Sometimes Libras don't realize, like, I, I, I'm not trying to knock out all Libras. I'm just going to say that, not all Libras, but there are certain ones I've met, right, who um don't realize they're judging people, <clears throat> and they get really pissed off when you point it out, you know, like, I, like my neighbor dude, right? Every time he goes to get with a chick, that he's really interested in, he always finds one reason or another to be like, oh, well, she isn't, like, doing this for me, or she gives me this particular thing when I tell her I only want this thing, and my response to that is like, you know, she's probably only doing that because she wants to hurry up and help you with what Like, he told this chick, right, that he wanted, like, 2% milk, but he wanted it from a particular store because he said the milk is better. Even though the brand is all over, like, I'm not going to say the brand, because, you know, unless you want me to, a sponsorship, uh, not really. But, like, it's like, it's the same brand from all of these stores, but he wants it from this one particular store, which is more expensive than the other stores, right? And she just brings him whatever milk, and he's just like, well, I got to break up with her because she keeps breaking my rules. And I'm like, what the fuck rules, man? Like, what do you mean by rules? She's getting you milk. It comes from a freaking cow. Like, like, I don't understand it. It's like, and he's done this with so many women before. And it's just kind of like, this is why you're probably not married with kids or even have a girlfriend, dude. Because, like, it's almost like some, it's like perfectionist. It's like someone expects everything a certain way. And it's like, they become hostile and judgmental. And I feel like someone got judgmental and walked away. Probably from this relationship or connection or whatever. Which is probably what's bothering them down here with the Nine of Swords, right? So what's up with the Nine of Swords? What two clarifiers do we have? They got a lot of... Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I guess they... <laughs> this person is the perfectionist. This person expects certain things. Like, there is a love here. That they're now basically ignoring or they're trying their best to ignore with the high priestess shadow side reverse like i read the vice versa completely different like i read them reversed when they're like shadow side as well like technically if you're looking at these ah this is supposed to be the reverse side this is supposed to be the upright side but i don't do that like this is reverse too it all counts and it's like this person is basically ignoring their intuition, but it feels like they can't because it's just right there. Like, they do their best to ignore it, sure. But, um... 
it's not working. Like, it's still in their brain. It's like the more they try to ignore it, the more persistent it is. And it's just kind of like, how, how much more should I ignore this right now? Damn my eyes! Or something, you know? It's like they're cursing at themselves because they can't let it go. And it's just like, you know... Kind of like my neighbor. Like, he's always, like, ram... Like, he kind of always rambles on about how people fuck things up. You know? Like... I don't know. I could talk days about this guy, right? Like, when he comes to my house, sometimes he talks shit about women, too. He's one of those where it's just like... <clears throat> What was it? One day he was just like, oh yeah, like, uh, what did he say? He said something along the lines of like, you know, like, yeah, women who give it up on the first play on the first date probably have, um, nothing to offer anyway, and I'd just be sitting there like, this is why you don't have a girlfriend, man. Like, what the fuck? Why are you talking such shit about people you don't even know? Like, that's how he kind of makes me feel, because he's really that judgmental, but he doesn't see it that way. Like, we literally, like, I have literally argued with this guy over ridiculous things that make no sense. Like, my little sister will attest to this time when we, like, I, I need to stop, because I'm worried. Like, but I do really feel like this is an air sign. And it's like, it's the judgment, you know, like. And look here, it's like impatience with the queen of wands right here she's still breathing in and out but it's like she's breathing in and out and being like you know what you're not fucking worth my time while this person's trying to draw like it's like they're trying to draw them in with the magician in order to see them and the queen's just like no i'm not coming anywhere take your horse somewhere else i'm not fighting you i'm not dealing with you you get on my nerves <laughs> Well, this person over here, it's like they're trying to draw her in with their magic. And she's just like, I can smell you and I'm going the other way. You smell like dirt beneath my feet. You know, just like, because the fire signs, they can say, like, fire signs, can, oh my god. Like, I'm Sag Rising. I know. Like, it could be pretty detrimental, right? This person was trying to manifest draw this person in, and this person is just like, no, I'm not even fucking dealing with you. Like, you're annoying. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Like, like, no, I'm not even putting up a fight. I, I yield. I give up. And I feel like that's what the person who they left did. Like, this person left them, and now it's like they want to summon them back. And it's just kind of like, the other person's like, nah! I'm going to go play Skyrim, um, online! <laughs> Like, I want to go have fun. Now, this person wants a new start. Even though they are very aware that the person that they want to start with is completely different from them. It's like, yeah, I understand the patience, but at the same time, it's like, we're two different creatures. Which is like, yeah, probably. Like, I don't know. Like, I, either that or they saw them as that originally. Like, we're too different. But now they're stuck in their head about them. So it's kind of like, hmm. And nothing's happening. They're not moving towards it because it's like the differences or something. It's like you could easily try to figure out how y'all could work together, but nothing's happening with that, right? Yeah. Not moving towards that kind of shit. Alright, so we got the lovers down here. That's the obstacle and challenge coming against this person, you, or whoever this resonates with. Whichever one you want to pick, right? It's all up to you, really. Use your imagination. Could be Gemini. Um, someone ran the fuck away. <laughs> someone ran away. And that left them being... I left everybody coming to... Like, okay. This person either left the relationship because they thought that, like, um, you know... No, 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 no. It's like, um... They're running away from, like, actually dealing with the separation, but where they run to, it's made everyone come against them instead. Like, looking at them like they're the enemy. Like, nobody's happy with this person because they ran away, or they took off, or they separated. 
Like, they keep running away. Which is the whole problem to begin with. Like, they walked away and now they're running away from the problem. And it's like, you keep running into people who aren't very good for you, person. I should start calling the, these people queerits, because that's actually the term you're supposed to use when you read for people. Yes, you're called a queerant when you d get a card reading. Or at least that's what I traditionally call it, right? Now, this Prince of Wands and the Fears and Rejection, someone is afraid of moving forward. It's like, there's a phoenix over here, but they got their back turned to it. Like, yee, boy! I'm on fire! Like, you're really bright. I, I can't... I, I, I really can't look at you while you're burning this bright. It's like someone's glowing in the distance and they can see it and they got their face turned away from it. Like, they don't want to journey towards that. In order to deliver whatever it is they're trying to deliver an offer right here. It's like, you know, they say that this person's kind of like glowing up, growing up, just being like, I'm flame of flame! And they're just like, I'm not, I'm not putting up with your ridiculousness and I'm not giving you shit. You know. Oh. But there is an offer available. Alright. What started this shit, how it'll end, what'll come full circle. Queen of Swords, Libra's card, also a Gemini and Aquarius. We got a lot of Gemini. We got a lot of Aquarius, I feel like. Well, we don't have a lot of Aquarius, but we definitely have a lot of Libra, I feel like, too. A lot of air. A lot of fire. What's up with this card? Right? There's an Empress Reverse right here. Someone's got their back turned. They got bitter, and now it's just like, hmm. It's not her nose to shit, right? However, ooh, there's a mistress that's coming out. She's the revealing some secrets. How interesting. Like, she's got secrets for sure, and she can reveal them, but she's got her back turned. Or this is the person they're trying to approach who knows a lot of shit. This could be their booby. This could be their babes. Right? What's the ending theme for this? Heartbreak. And that's why they want to make a decision all of a sudden. I, uh, like, this person's tripping, honestly. Like, it's like they're tripping, they're sad, but they don't want to do anything to fix their sadness. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, like, they could, but they're not going to. So, what do we have for the three last advice cards for this person? I mean, you know, like, not only are they broke, they're really not feeling like themselves either. And if they have to do it in secret, they really should offer something, but I feel like they're more afraid that this is going to be a dead, resurrected relationship. That just makes the burden take even longer. You know? These are the last four cards on top of there. So, what's the first advice card for this situation where someone walked away from a relationship, I feel like, and that's burdened them? And now they're trying to ignore that torture they put on them? Ah, okay. There's a tower! Welcome to the tower! It's about to fall! You can put as much bricks as you want, but it's all crumbling down. You got really dirty knees, cause you fell gracefully from the tower that's burning up with you and me. It's a tower. Yes, it is a tower. It's gonna bring you down to ya. I don't know. I'm done. I, I, I can't do it anymore. It's like actually really shitty. I apologize. Someone got a laugh at my shitty saying. <laughs> What's the second advice card? We got like, this person wants a clean slate, but they're not doing anything about it because like they see too many differences or they're trying to justify so many differences. But with them running away, it just keeps putting them into more and more shitty positions. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like trying to be a martyr in this, you know, trying to be like, this is what I have to do. But it's like, no, you, no, you really don't. 
No, you really don't. It's, it's like they're gonna realize that they're putting themselves in a really shit position. And it's taken them this long to figure out that they did it to themselves. Wasting time and all that stuff. I, I swear, if this person, like... I feel like if this person, like, um, found out that the uh, one that they want or they're missing got with someone else, they'd probably be fucked up and crushed. I just feel like that. Ah, okay. If we're not taking any action because, like, they can't stand someone else's glow to deliver a package, and because they'd rather, like... I don't know, this Queen of Swords here is bothering me with the Empress Reverse and the, um... Like, is the person they chose, that they decided to get with, like, being a hoe? Is that what's going on here? Someone's a hoe? The, the, like, I don't know. It's like, or they figured out they're the hoe? I don't know. Either way, like, you know, King of Swords, bitter, harsh, mean, whatever. Um, not very um, forthcoming with information. Looking for reasons to be like, you know, oh, I don't need to do anything. Yeah. Oh, you have the wrong idea. Or, oh, maybe you should keep your mouth shut before I stab you in the face with this frickin' sword. You know? Anything in order to not have to deal with this. I'm trying, like, more, because I can't, because I got a bigger board. And I'm that spoiled. Let's see. This tower. Still fucking waiting. Still not taking any action. <laughs> this, and it, it's still all... Oh, shit. Okay, so when this all actually does come out, like, that's when they're gonna do something? What? What? Okay. So. Let me get this straight, mate. It's like this person's waiting for this tower to come down. Like, they're waiting for it. Or they're waiting for something to come to them. Like, because they're not going there. But then it's like once the secret's out. Once again, with the moon reverse right here. This is Shadow Side. It's like if there's another person involved or they want to be involved or something, that's when they take action. Like they wasted their time with a fucking fire sign or something? I don't know. Because there's no movement either. There's, not, there's nothing happening with the Hangman anyway, so I don't know why the Knight of Wands is here. It's like, why are you here, dude? You're just chilling out. You're not moving anywhere. But it's like, why? Did you waste time with somebody who is, like, a not-so-beautiful man? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's like... I don't get it. It's like this person needs something to expose itself before they'll do anything. Or... I don't know. I don't know, Collective. You guys... Tell me what's up with this, because I'd really like to know, because some of y'all know exactly what this is. And as a lady, I feel like I am very, very um, out of well, sync with what I'm reading for right now. But it's like, eh, okay, man, whatever. But thanks for watching the reading, y'all. I hope y'all take it easy. I love your faces. Please be safe. And, um, I don't know. If you're this person, you know, my only advice to you is just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and say whatever it is you gotta say. The worst that's gonna happen is, like, you get something that you don't like, but at least you'll get it off of your brain. You know, you don't want to suffer forever. Like, sure, it doesn't seem like it's forever right now, but how long can you hold out? You're, you're like, you're not gonna die anytime soon. To whoever, to whoever this queerin' is. But... I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.